So we're going to talk about water resources. Then we're going to talk about where, what are the main uses of water, and then problems associated with each of those um, main uses. So as a review, 71% of Earth is fresh water. I'm sorry, is water. Only 3% of that is fresh. Available is less than 1%. And this is what we consider available water, lakes, rivers, or anything on the surface. Some of this water is trapped in glaciers or deep underground, so we can't we consider it um, unusable somewhat, except we can obviously tap into aquifers. Water is continuously cycled. This is the water cycle or the hydrologic cycle. And let's go over these numbers. Two would be basically condensation. If it falls down, which is... Um, right here would be number four which is precipitation in this case as rain but it can fall as hail or snow once it hits the ground it's going to infiltrate that would be number six or percolate and then it's going to run off that's number seven into a large body of water from that body of water you can have evaporation which is number three or this little picture that i drew right here from this grass up or number one that i'm referencing is called transpiration which is evaporation from plants. So reviewing our resources of water, we have two main categories, which is surface water and groundwater, or aquifers would be another way to reference groundwater. Surface water is lakes, rivers, um, streams, etc. And we're going to talk about uh, watershed and reliable runoff. It results from precipitation or the melting of snow. Groundwater, on the other hand, words associated with groundwater and aquifers are going to be zone of saturation or water table, um, recharge, natural and lateral, and this results from infiltration and percolation. In order to get to the bottom, it not only has to rain, but it has to go through infiltration or percolation. So this is uh, a watershed. It's what we reference as reliable runoff. It's basically water running straight from a um, land source into a river. So surface water draining into a river. No percolation, no infiltration. When you form groundwater, um, you actually have aquifers which are underground rivers. So there is an actual flow. Again, you're going to have either percolation or infiltration in order to get down here to this groundwater. You're going to have to know these terms. Um, zone of saturation is basically an area of groundwater where water is plentiful. The top layer or the top zone of that zone of saturation is what we call the water table. This is what... Um, environmentalist or uh, the city in general uses to determine whether there is plenty of water they measure the the water table so you're gonna have natural recharge and this is the the flow that occurs you're gonna it's gonna rain or precipitate then it's gonna percolate and infiltrate or vice versa and lateral recharge is basically from nearby rivers or streams recharge is extremely slow on um, earth mainly uh, overpopulated areas because of urbanization. You think about infiltration and percolation happen easier on open vast lands like here. Once you start building cements, roads, it's water's hard um, to pass through the cycle. So the rate of replenishment is extremely slow. So how do we use water? 70% of water is used in the in agricultural society and I'm going to talk about each this would be the big part of the pie chart or here's another picture to reference 20% is used in the industry and when you think of that word industry think of manufacturing of goods or the making of products that would be this part right here and the last is domestic or words associated with that is going to be municipal or residential and I, this is a quote from your book, actually. Last century, water usage increased sevenfold. I wonder if that number has increased again. So in the agricultural uh, world, the main use of water is for irrigation systems. The downfall and the biggest problem is, and if you look at this picture, before water actually even hits the ground, it 
it in this picture the water is heading up instead of down not in all cases but in most water evaporates before it hits the ground so this is a big problem and irrigation systems um, or improved irrigation systems are constantly a topic in the agricultural uh, society or world so in the industry main use is for manufacturing of goods which is basically the making of products uh, then you also have the disposal of waste or the cleaning uh, of these goods generation of power that's a big use of water you're gonna have it for cooling systems or for um, running the plant in general and then hydroelectric power plants use water as well don't think of water as as um, a problem think of, of what we use it for residential use main use is going to be outdoor which is sprinklers or washing of cars landscaping second use is going to be your toilet and as we discussed in class we know we have improved toilets i'm wondering how much of this pie chart uh there could be uh changes in the future we went from seven gallons to one gallon per flush your bath laundry shower they're all kind of in the same uh percentage and then you have your faucet which is the least of the percent. 